like to think of our uh, agricultural complex here as a 350 acre lab. Um, obviously we have laboratories uh, for all kinds of different science classes, but uh, we have a very special one here in that it's outside. Uh, it has all kinds of livestock, plants, uh, greenhouses, you know, all, uh, aquaculture. We have shrimp and tilapia pond. and So uh, we do really think of this as a laboratory. It, it is a farm, but it is a university farm. The Derrickson Agricultural Complex is the crown jewel of the Moorhead State University Agricultural Sciences Department. Located about six miles north of the main campus, it is home to more than 80 head of registered Angus cows, more than 100 sows and piglets, and 45 crossbred ewes, which are raised for both consumption and local show stock. Of course, Kentucky has long been known as the horse capital of the world, and MSU does its part in upholding that rich tradition. The university's equine program includes all stages of learning, such as reproduction, horse and health management, as well as riding and showing. The farm is home to more than 40 horses that are used daily in both the state-of-the-art equine health education facility and the indoor and outdoor riding areas. When we get students that uh, first come onto the farm and get to see the property and the, and the enterprises that are involved here and so forth, uh, it's really, really cool to see the expressions on their face and the questions that they ask. Having them come out here and participate in labs and, le and, and help uh, on a daily basis is really where the rubber meets the road. Um, helps their education tremendously. When you're talking about horse sciences and everything in class and then you actually get to come out here and work with the horses and see all the horses and do different things even with everything, it really just helps everything come together. The students get exposed to all different aspects of agriculture so you can specify an equine science but you don't have to, you're not specifically um, pigeonhole the equine science. So you get some exposure to crops, you get some exposure to soils, you get some exposure to cattle and pigs and um, sheep and how all of those industries are intermingled because one does always affect the other. Being on the farm you actually get the hands-on experience whereas in the classroom you only learn by hearing and from anything from pigs to pruning trees in the orchard just so much of the hands-on experience outweighs the experience you gain in the classroom. I like the idea that we teach in the mornings. Uh, we may have lecture classes in the morning time, but then our afternoon laboratories are out here on the farm. Uh, for me, they work with a lot of numbers, so when they get the opportunity to get out of, out of the classroom, it's, it's a great opportunity uh, for them to actually use those numbers in the actual field, um, put production numbers down on paper, and, and then go out and see how that production process works. So students get so excited about going to the farm, you'll see them in class sitting and looking at their watch and just anticipating the time that they get out of the classroom and get to go apply what you've taught them. They get to go out and get their hands dirty and see what we've been talking about and actually get to do it. It's a very div diversified farm production practice. Uh, it's very educational as far as hands-on activities. Um, you get to go through everyday uh, experiences with the farm. Being outside of the dorm rooms, it's more like being back home. And uh, being on the farm, you get more of an experience of what the farm life is actually like and more of a real life application of what you're learning in the classroom. A lot of the ag classes are go hand in hand with the lab. Um, those labs will come out here and you'll work in the cattle in, you're in the, the cattle into the farm or you'll, in, you'll work with the sheep or uh, down in the horse barn. Um, they do a really nice job about really getting you to work in every aspect of agriculture here. But livestock is only part of what happens at the farm. MSU has more than 30 acres dedicated solely to crop production, including corn for grain and silage, along with multiple fruits and vegetables. There are several greenhouses on the property where an array of bedding plants are grown for use in landscaping the main campus as well as the farm. I've really enjoyed the greenhouse. Um, I'm a raspberry and strawberry farmer at home and so I really enjoyed that and uh, thinking about putting a greenhouse up at home and uh, that kind of led to my second major uh, being horticulture. We have a strong plant sciences program, greenhouses, 
uh, vineyards, and so the students are really getting the applied knowledge that they need to be successful in agriculture. You get to see what other another farm's doing, um, not just what you're doing at home, but what this farm's doing, and um, you can kind of change some of your practices uh, if you like what the farm's doing or um, what you're doing. It just it's just exciting. Another key component to the Derrickson Complex is the Working Veterinary Clinic, housed right on the farm and AVMA accredited. The students enrolled in the two or four year vet tech program will get more hands-on experience than they ever dreamed possible. The facility allows the vet tech and pre-veterinary medicine students a real life feel of how the veterinary clinic works and gives them an incredible head start on their chosen career. You spend the morning like all of your lecture, everything, you know, and then you actually get to go in the afternoon and apply that stuff to the animals and you get to practice all of your clinical skills like placing catheters, running anesthesia, like all that good stuff. But you learn it and you get to do it at the same time. It's really awesome here. And this hands-on component that we have out here is strictly for the undergraduate student. Their laboratory sessions, their lecture sessions would be downtown, but their laboratory sessions for the most part are going to be out here where they're going to have some hands-on involvement. You're not just working on practice dummies or anything, like we get to work with live animals, which is really great. And then we work with Kentucky Lab Rescue, so we have dogs, and then we work with some animal shelters, and then we can even work on like students and teachers, pets as well, so we get a wide variety. And then we do some farm calls on the side, so we get a lot. An exciting recent acquisition for the university is the Browning Orchard located in nearby Fleming County. Here, 250 acres are dedicated to fruit and hay production, and of course, the orchard is home to thousands of apples, more than 15 varieties in all, just right for the picking. Yeah, we're very blessed to have acquired this piece of property from the Brownings. It's always been a great source of pride for the people in Fleming County. And now Moorhead State gets to put its touch on, on that. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be a great teaching tool. In addition to classes and work, some students actually call the University Farm home. With a capacity for approximately 24 full-time students, both male and female, to live on the property, the farm is truly student-operated. They participate in classes and are responsible for a vast majority of labor that helps keep our farm operational and in good working order. We have spots for 12 guys and 8 girls out here to live, students to live on the farm. Um, each one of those students will do anything for the other one. Um, it really is, it's small enough that we really are a family out here and everybody gets along really well and we mesh together. Um, you know, whether it's helping with some homework or um, you know, getting a ride to campus or helping out with your work schedule. Farm work doesn't stop on Friday afternoon and, and take the weekend off. It doesn't stop for holidays. So we have an excellent, excellent farm staff that's also then supported by a number of students who live out here. And they just love it. Really living out here is, is the best part of Moorhead. Um, you know, I wouldn't have changed it for any. I actually lived in a uh, I lived in the four-person dorm, I lived in a two-person dorm, and I moved out here to the farm. So this is, this is where I should have been the whole time, for sure. They're very hardworking uh, young people, and any of these kids that work out here and establish that kind of work ethic, those are kids you want to hire. Employers out there in the region that, uh, you know, when they get our students and they realize the hands-on experience that they've had, and, and they think, these guys aren't messing around. I know a lot of different universities have research farms and stuff, but here it's more of an educational purpose for every student to get hands-on activities and to actually participate and know what they're doing with the species and actually get to see what we're learning in class. This department is really unique coming from uh, the true land-grant system where you have an atmosphere where it's a lot of research and then coming back to Moorhead and having the opportunity to work with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, actually get out and do hands-on uh, experiments, hands-on work. And that's one of the things that we hear about our program is how much animal handling skills and tractor driving skills and things like that that our students get because they physically get to do what we're asking them to. 
Um, and so they get to learn how to read cattle running in a chute, and they get to learn how to handle baby piglets, and they get to learn how to wrangle sheep, and you know all of those things. And it's a it's just a great experience for them. I, I've watched kids grow here. Uh, they come in as freshmen, and and it amazes me um, how they can change. And, and I guess seeing those changes is what really impresses me, and, and uh, seeing those our students grow up and become uh, people that can go into the industry and represent the Ag Department and the MSU in a positive light. Uh, we want students to leave here with not only a good intellectual ability and problem solving and critical thinking, we, we do stress all those things, but in agriculture in particular, I think you also need the applied aspect of it the practical knowledge that uh, goes along with the, this profession and we can certainly supply that to all of our undergraduate students here. I feel like I'm qualified to go on to work in the job uh, force or to go on to grad school, uh, PhD. Uh, I feel like where MSU offers a set core curriculum where you have to be involved with every aspect of agriculture that it is best because you're not always going to be dealing within your specific area. You're going to have to have a background in all, in all areas of agriculture to be successful. I think you're going to be very hard pressed to find a better agricultural science education that encompasses uh, so many different things, so many aspects of agricultural science. I think you'd really, really be hard pressed to find a better place in the United States than Moorhead State University.